Voters in half a dozen local communities will decide an issue custom made for Halloween. It's a cemetery levy. As WLWT News Vice Brian Hamrick reports, several communities are struggling now to come up with the money to keep up with the upkeep. Well, for some small communities and municipalities, funding the budget to maintain cemeteries has been a problem that's resurrected every year. That's why some have had to put it on the ballot. It's a levy combining the two most dreaded entities, death and taxes. It's a pretty old cemetery, parts of it are. In communities like this one, voters are facing both in the ballot booth. And we just don't have the funds to continue to maintain the cemeteries into the future. Greg Hensley is head of maintenance for Franklin Township in Claremont County. He says the scariest thing about the cemetery is how small communities were charged with maintaining them at the same time budgets were cut. It's an unfunded mandate by the state that the township is responsible for the cemeteries. They're not alone. Six local townships have levies to fund cemetery maintenance. In Franklin Township, the levy would cost $100 a year on a $100,000 home and last for five years. At the Feed Mill Restaurant in Felicity... It's a little bit of money, but it's not too much. Most voters we talked to were like Stuart Gregg. Well, nobody likes to pay more tax, just face it. But there are some things it's inevitable. So in the cemetery where you'll find a surgeon's assistant killed at Gettysburg, alongside a Revolutionary War soldier, a new battle over the money to maintain their eternal resting place for at least five years. Voters in those communities will have the final say so next Tuesday. Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. There is reason for concern among levy supporters. A very similar levy was voted down in New Richmond last election.